So this is more of a Chinese style box bellows in that instead of having the plenum as a separate box on the exterior, the plenum is contained inside the main piston chamber underneath the piston path. So it's just the, basically the roof of the plenum becomes the floor that the piston rides on and then there's valves on either end for the air to travel through. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's, the principles are identical to a Japanese box bellows. The air comes in the exterior valves, and as the piston moves back and forth, it pushes you know, the air into the plenum and out to the forge. Uh, I'm not sure about the sizing of these holes. There may be very specific math that's necessary to make this stuff work properly in terms of pressure and airspeed, etc., relating to, you know, physics of gases and Bernoulli's principle and all that stuff. I've forgotten all of that, if I ever knew it, and I'm not interested in doing that kind of research. So I'm just going to throw this together and hope that it works. And yeah, we'll see. So this is going to be a relatively small bellows. I hope it will be adequate to do the kind of forging I would like to do up into some light forge welding. Really what I want to do is be able to build small things, hardware mainly, that I need around the farm for my buildings and for, you know, yoke hardware for, you know, making yokes for my ox. Uh, I would like to upgrade my house more with period type hardwheel type uh, hinges and latches and things to make, you know, give my house more of an old school flavor and, uh, that sort of thing. Here's the front and back and sides laid out and the little valve pieces for the plenum. So here's a valve assembly. Just three holes, piece of leather, little scrap piece glued on there. And then I just wired it on, drilled a little hole with, uh, I think that's like 1164, and then I'm just wiring it on with this, uh, I think it's 24 gauge, 24 gauge gal. We have the valves installed. And they seem to function. Everything, the box is assembled. And so there's the piston floor or the plenum roof. So I have installed the roof of the plenum or floor of the piston chamber and caulked these seams. So the piston rod is a piece of 5 8 copper. Um, it's a rather tight fit at the moment so I'm going to have to work on freeing it up just a little bit. So here's the bellows so far. Pretty pleased, pretty pleased with that. Having not put much time into this, I made this piston after watching David Foote's video series on making his Japanese Fuego box bellows, and especially his last video where he was replacing the piston to account for wood movement and changes with humidity because he is he has his bellows essentially in an outdoor shop which is going to be very much my situation too so uh i thought that was really educational and um the other thing he does that i think is really brilliant is he lined his box with glass on the bottom and on the sides to increase uh reduce friction and I may do that at some point, but 
the thing I don't have a permanent location and that one of the things that I'm hopeful right now this is really light and that's a feature that I really like because I'm gonna have to move this around so uh, yeah but if I ever do build like a permanent shop I would strongly consider lining the piston travel area with glass myself because but it's going to make it really heavy and more fragile you know in case you drop it so whereas this is i would say pretty rugged right now and uh light so but i highly recommend his video series there he's he's got a great channel not a ton of videos but they're really really useful so go go check them out well not sure if you can see but the way I made the piston here there's a little bit of a gap in at the top where I think the box is true as far as I can tell so it's basically the piston is out of square I cut it wrong and so that's actually a good thing because that means if it's not it's a lot easier to make make a new piston than to make a new box so well, that looks pretty good except for right up here at the corner and i'm gonna try just stuffing some extra fabric underneath right there and then i'm gonna tape it on and see what that does all right the tape wasn't working and I tried this staple gun but my staples are too long and they were blowing all the way through the plywood and making a mess I only did two staples with that and I regret them but then turns out a regular office stapler actually worked great um a couple of them you know jammed up but most of them just punched right in and they're really secure so um not Japanese carpentry obviously but uh, for quick and dirty I'm very pleased and that gap up there is closed I'm gonna just you know weight the lid down and see what kind of pressure I can get so I sanded the interior surfaces of the piston chamber and then I waxed them with just this homemade linseed oil beeswax uh, paste wax that I have and uh, I also waxed the piston rod and things are really working nicely so there's very little left to do I just have to I'm just going to screw the top on without any gasket. Yeah, I, I feel like a gasket is just going to complicate things. So, I just threw together this little handle and glued two pieces of some of the scrap together. I mean, I have this heavier pot that took away the gap. So I think this is close to what it's going to be like, if not exactly, in use. and. I am very excited to get this thing running. I mentioned I added this light duty harder, hardware cloth over the air intakes on both the front and the back. And that's just for mouse exclusion because I'm going to keep this out in my sheds and in my experience any kind of box or closed space will rapidly get colonized by deer mice and then they build a huge pile of debris and pee all over it and whatever it is is full of crap and baby mice and it smells like the Port Authority so uh, yeah better to just prevent that yeah done I don't know what it weighs, but um, here, let me set this down. Maybe 
20 pounds? 30 pounds? Not much. Not 30 pounds. So, it's very portable. It's just... Yeah, it's just exactly what I was hoping it would be, I think. Very exciting. Here's our setup at the moment. This is just a slapped together mess to get some metal heated up and test this thing. I'm so excited. So yeah, let's. I have not pulled this baby, so I'm gonna. This is the first. So let's see. There's just a bunch of junk sitting there. Whoa! Did you see that? That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna light a fire and. Uh, yeah, it's like I'm running out of battery, so I'm going to turn this off until I get a fire going, okay? Alright, moment of truth, right? That seems adequate to what I want to do and we will see if I can get it hot enough to forge weld but I can get it hot enough to forge so this this is rocking my world right now that may mean that uh, my world is easy to rock but <laughs> this is so awesome <laughs> okay all right.